Guinea, West Africa. For over a decade, corrupt president Alpha Conde, as well as his corrupt government, exploited the country for personal benefit. This is the story and tragedy of the struggle to remove Conde from power. historically headed by dictators. Ghanaian saw his presidency as a new beginning because he was the first freely elected president since the independence of Guinea from France in 1958. However, the legitimacy of his victory was disputed by his opposition. Conde was also reported to have been helped in winning the election by Sable Mining Company in order to affect mining laws. Although mining of Guinea's vast riches of minerals, which accounts to about 35% of Guinea's total GDP, increased during Conde's presidency, the economic benefits were not being felt by the majority of the citizens. With increasing poverty and prices of basic commodities, opinions towards Conde worsened as the people accused him of failing, of improving the lives of most Ghanaians. In 2013, Guinea held legislative elections after several postponements and delays. This election followed many controversies, including the opposing political party withdrawing from the electoral process after suspecting election fraud. Protests against Conde broke out following this decision, which escalated as protesters began throwing rocks at security forces who donned riot gear and were armed with guns and tear gas. The violence peaked when security forces began to open fire on crowds of protesters indiscriminately, killing several and injuring thousands. Following the funerals of nine protesters, peace slowly began restoring. Guinea never released an official death toll. In 2015, Conde would be elected for a second term amid accusations of fraud and mismanagement. His opponent, Celo Giallo, rejected the results of the vote, claiming that Conde's government had rigged the election. However, he never filed an official appeal. Conde was sworn in for his second term on December 14, 2015. In 2020, President Conde modified the Ghanaian constitution in a referendum, allowing him to run for an additional third presidential term, where the constitution had previously bound him to only two. This worsened the already tarnished popularity of Conde with the people of Guinea, and more waves of protest broke out in the wake of this change. Mass unrest spiraled out of control after security forces brutally repressed protests using live ammunition to disperse crowds. Tanks and soldiers flooded cities as tens of thousands of citizens took to the streets throughout the country, singing and chanting in opposition of President Conde. Hundreds, including children, were killed in the unrest. Conde would go on to win his third election with nearly 60% of the vote. On the streets of Conakry, Gunfire near the presidential palace. In a nearby opposition stronghold neighborhood, joy in the streets as news spread that President Alpha Conde had been deposed in a coup. September 5th, 2021. Ghanaian special forces who were trained by United States Army Green Berets surrounded the presidential palace and secured a wide perimeter. After a gun battle with Conde supporting forces, Conde was captured and the dissolution of the government and its constitution was announced. Special Forces Officer Mabadi Dumbuya issued a broadcast to the country. Dumbuya stated that the Ghanaian army was forced to take action due to the dire political situation of the country, the non-respect of democratic principles, poverty, and corruption. Dumbuya quoted former Ghanaian President Jerry Rawlings, if the people are crushed by their elites, it's up to the army to give the people their freedom. 
On October 1st, 2021, Mamadi Doumbouya was sworn in as interim president of Guinea, where he remains to this day. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you can see more. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, farewell.